So I'm here in Naples, Florida at the Shangri-La Resort, and I'm with Sayer G. All right. Man, what a pleasure to interview great. you today. Hey, it's great to be here. See you in person. Yeah, awesome. I mean, I've been, I've been following your work for a long time. Cool. And uh, so it's great to finally meet you face to face. Same here. And yeah. uh, really looking forward to getting your take yeah. on a lot of these serious issues surrounding cancer today. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's, let's start off. I want to talk to you about chemo and radiation resistance. Yes. I feel the word itself is almost like a euphemism for something really terrible, which is that when you are exposed to radiation that's based on gamma radiation, it's basically ionizing, it will cause damage to whatever basic tissue it's being exposed to. So in the same way, chemotherapy is also designed to be genotoxic. So you're trying to target fast replicating cells. And so by doing so, it is by definition also carcinogenic. And so really when we talk about resistance to chemo radiation, it's really just um, a way of blaming the victim because we're all, when exposed to conventional chemo radiation, going to be harmed and it is actually going to have a carcinogenic effect and it will often cause secondary cancers. So technically, I think people need to be aware that this isn't truly a cancer therapy. At best, it's palliative in the sense that it might shrink a tumor, but what Really, the, 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 the main thing I would like to get across is, is that it's going to cause an enrichment of the actual mother cell that's beneath the tumor, which is known as the cancer stem cell. So technically, you are shrinking the tumor size, but you're enriching the population of the tumorigenic cells at the very same moment. So again, the idea that some people are resistant to chemo and radiation is really a false concept. Everyone exposed to radiation and chemo will have secondary adverse effects, some of which are worse than the original condition they're being treated for.